Kiriogo presents Genius Insight Epigenetics with Dr. Milan Lebre. Do you often feel your body is changing? Do you ever wonder how it changed or what types of external factors contributed to those changes? Have you ever considered that where you live, what you eat, and how much stress you have in your life will impact your health, your children's health, and every generation thereafter? In today's Genius Insight, you will learn about epigenetics, the study of how your behaviors, from what you eat to how you exercise, and the environment you live in can cause changes that affect how your genes work. We have a lot to unpack, but before we dive in, I want to thank you for continuing to watch this channel. Without your continued support, we wouldn't be able to grow as a channel and company. So if you like what you've learned today, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let us know too if you've learned anything surprising today in the comments below. Now let's get started. To break it down, epigenetics is the study of how cells control gene structure without changing the DNA sequence. So everything from what you do and experience can cause changes in how your genes work. However, unlike genetic changes, these do not change your DNA sequence, but they can change how your body reads a DNA sequence. In ancient Greek, ep means on or above, so epigenetics describes factors beyond your genetic code. Unlike genetic changes, epigenetic changes are reversible and do not change your DNA sequence, but they can change how your body reads a DNA sequence. Gene expression refers to how often or when proteins are created from the instructions within your genes. These instructions can alter how and which proteins are made and how the epigenetic changes turn these instructions on and off. The process of turning genes on and off is known as gene regulation. Gene regulation is an important part of your normal development, but what is essential to know is that your behaviors like exercise patterns, diets, and other environmental factors contribute to this process. As you age, there are various ways that epigenetic markers can be affected. Interestingly, many of these changes occur before you were born. As you may know, you get your genetic code from your parents as a baby, but there's more to it than that. As your future body is impacted both by what your mother and father eat, as well as their emotional well-being and lifestyle choices. When these factors influence either the father's sperm and the mother's egg cells, it also will impact the developing fetus. This can lead to epigenetic changes in the offspring. Consider that the most significant factors contributing to epigenetics are changes in your diet. In fact, in a 2013 study, they found that diets rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids generated mutagenic free radicals and oxidative stress directly linking to epigenetic alterations. However, diets rich in fruits and vegetables, which contain many natural antioxidants, have the potential to provide things like anti-cancer protection. Food isn't the only thing that can impact epigenetics. Many studies suggest that epigenetic marks are also sensitive to environmental exposure. The nutrients in foods, toxins, pollutants, pesticides, and other environmental factors can directly or indirectly impact the levels and turnover of epigenetic marks. In 2018, a study done from the National Library of Medicine, they found that Western diets, which tend to be rich in red meats, empty carbs, and saturated fats, are linked to more types of cancer, as well as something called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Conversely, Mediterranean diets, which have a higher level and concentration of fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, and grains, have fewer instances of cancer. These diets both affect your epigenetics in very different ways. But what is essential to consider in all of this is that all those fatty foods and empty calories aren't just impacting your health and well-being. They will affect your children, your grandchildren, and generations to come. 
Exercise has also been found as a way that individuals can modify their epigenomes for the better. A study done in 2013 on exercise programs completed over a six month period found that working out can induce positive changes in DNA methylene with adipose tissues and help regulate metabolism in both healthy and diseased individuals. Simply put, if you aren't in the best health or have the best diet, starting an exercise routine can help impact your body in many positive ways. You've learned that what you eat and how you live can negatively impact your epigenetics, but there's some good news. As it turns out, not all epigenetic changes are permanent. When you change negative habits, your environment, or make lifestyle changes, deviations in your epigenetics can occur. Good habits and clean living lead to better epigenetics. Conversely, a poor diet or lifestyle can lead to problems. In fact, researchers found that chronic exposure to stress hormones cause modifications to DNA in the brains of mice, prompting changes in gene expression. So it is crucial to take a good look at your life and see how you live. Can you make any modifications to reduce stress levels or toxicity, change your diet, things that maybe are silently making you sick? Finally, let's look at some variables in our lives that may be a little harder to control. Encountering pesticides, toxins, and synthetic compounds can cause diseases decades later in your body and your offspring. Heavy metals that include arsenic, nickel, and cadmium are widespread and have been found capable of mutating or disrupting your epigenetics. These have all been linked with several diseases, including cancer, neurological disorders, and autoimmune disease. The best way to prevent this from occurring is to make sure that you are in an environment that is free of, from such toxins. You can do simple things like testing water sources and eating organic fresh foods as often as possible. Wow, that is a lot of information. So now let's go over what we learned today. Unlike genetics, epigenetic changes are reversible and do not change your DNA sequence but they can change how your body reads a DNA sequence. Gene expressions refer to how often or when proteins are created from the instructions within your genes. When factors such as diet, environment, and lifestyle influence either the father's sperm cells or the mother's egg cells, they will impact the developing fetus. This can lead to epigenetic changes in the offspring. Studies suggest that epigenetic marks are also sensitive to environmental exposure. Exercise has also been found as a way that individuals can modify their epigenomes for the better. And finally, encountering pesticides, toxins, and synthetic compounds can cause disease decades later in your body and your offspring. So that's it for this episode of Genius Insight. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our Genius Insight. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.